happy Krishna Janmashtami, the Supreme God and the really God of the Hindus. Today was Lord Krishna's birthday and you know, casually we told the students to come dressed up like Krishna. And everybody, <laughs> the boys came in Krishna's dress and the girls came in Radha, Rukmini and Satyabhama. It was looking very colorful, very, very colorful, yes. Kabir said, "If but if a mirror ever makes you sad, you should know that it does not know you. Mirror, when they said about the mirror, when I was practicing in the Japanese, several, several Japanese centers uh, for martial arts, Ikebana flower arrangement, Ocha tea ceremony, Judo, Kendo, or Nihongo, call it by anywhere I go, I see a mirror. And everybody goes to the mirror and they bow the head and clap three times. <laughs> That is where they said, you see God in that mirror. Kabir said, if a mirror ever makes you sad, you know, can a mirror make you sad? Can your father, mother make you sad? If your father, mother is making you sad, then you must go and look into the mirror. And you, have, you must know that one country has become an economic might in the world. And if you want to see your richness, I can show your richness. You have to go and look into the mirror. If you are happy, the mirror reflects, yes. If you have done your homework, it reflects. If you think somebody is accusing you, making you sad. You must understand that you have not taken the whack from your teacher. You have become a ronin and single elephant roaming up and down, shouting, screaming in the streets. Dangerous. Kabir said, if a mirror ever makes you sad, you should know that it does not know you. Yes. When somebody makes you sad, that means somebody is make you, making you poor. If somebody is making you poor, means somebody is making you deceased. Yes. Sad, poor, deceased, all has got a connecting link. Now, when that happens, you must, as I said, go to the mirror. One. Two is, you have not done your homework. When the person opposite you have not understood you 100%, then you cannot put the blame into them. The former Chief Minister of Bihar, Lalu Prasad Yadav, maybe most of the Indians joke at him because he acts like a laughing master, but his intelligence is what keeps me always thinking. When he was interviewed, he said, I got HF cows. And what I found out is, if you leave one drop of milk in the udder of the HF cow, the cow will fall sick and you will lose the profit. The same thing he understood in the railways, when the railways was going on a 60,000 crore loss and the government was planning to sell it to the private companies. He just changed it. It's the last drop to be milked. When South India, in the summer there is heavy rush, he sent extra coaches to South India instead of allowing the private buses travels to make money. When he saw the goods train going half, he stopped it, but the next station he found somebody is filling it up and making money. He made sure all the goods train goes filled up. He made money in a short duration. He found out instead of 
suspending and dismissing people and putting the blame on onto them he found out every human being has got a power and by the end of the day before they go to sleep they must sweat it out minimum 7 times to get a beautiful sleep and when he sweat it out you become very conscious that to make sure that every part of the body works and i asked my nature cure doctor dr janot he was telling why women are having cancerous uterus cancer why women are having breast cancer it is not that they did not go and look into the mirror they have to understand themselves in the olden days every year they give birth and the uterus has been used when the uterus is not been used a growth happens when the room is not used cockroaches and rats build up homes simple it has to be why breast cancer because they have been breastfeeding throughout when breastfeeding is not there that is not been used so either you should get your breast massage on a regular way with your sweat you must look into you you must go to the mirror and look whether i am healthy and always try to study yourself what is health by sitting very close to your family members you don't have to go to anybody else to sit close to your family without any restrictions whether they say good or bad it doesn't enter in your ear you are there to just be with them melt with them and in the melting you can find that you can make varieties of ornaments in the melting you have to melt you have to work very hard to burn it to the highest temperature yes the toughest gold stone melts in the highest temperature for them to make bright is ornaments kabir said but if a mirror ever makes you sad if your teacher makes you sad by giving you less marks you must look into you go to the mirror and find out why you are sad does the teacher know you teacher doesn't you know you 100% do you know you 100% a pint of shit in a cup of vanilla ice cream you are a beautiful cup of vanilla ice cream if you are not studied every one drops destroys you that pint of shit make sure the last drop of your talent is removed from your body from your ears from your nose from your eyes from your breath yes from your joints that you loosen up your joints and stretch every day without a break if that is wrong then look at the sun and the wind yes they work look at the heartbeat it is your duty to update it up Our family tree is heading for disaster. We need to learn how to work with the family rather against it. Come join hands with me. I can show you your richness. Say it with love. We will build our family, our joint family, and the family tree. Thank <music> you.